Hello guys, welcome to Final Fantasy XIV. If you're a new player, welcome. Hope this video will help. And if you're a player who's transferred over from WoW, welcome to the world. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, right, so today we're talking about what is the easiest hunt mount to get in Final Fantasy. There's a couple like the Tiger and the Triceratops that will take quite a long time to get, but there are two mounts that are a lot easier. One is that you trade in the Crystarium for nuts. I think also you an Ill in Ilmore as well but again you have to be level 80 to get it whereas this mount you can get at level 60. So first things first obviously as you can see here we are in the what is it idol not idol sheer sorry that's not it <laughs> Ishgard and you have to go to the pub area which is um, the etherite of the forgotten knight go in and talk to this guy got clan centurion member now again you have to get s ranks for this but they can be any s ranks of the i believe i think it's the heavens ward mounts and the also the mounts belonging to uh, stormblood i believe drop these so you want these centario seals and you go to advanced now what you want is this it's called a clan mark log now sometimes I believe it used to be it could be dropped by an S rank, it may still be the case, but I don't want to put 100% on that. And you want to get, trade 6, which is the total of 3,000. Um, you can stock um, 4,000 of these Centario seals as far as I remember, so um, yeah, so you want to trade in for 6 of these, let's just double check. Yeah, because these are what you get from the original hunts, these are the the next two areas in this, so that's, that's Realm Reborn. This one is Heaven's Ward and Stormblood, and then this one is Shadowbringers. So, right. Then what you do is, once you have those six logs, teleport then to Idleshear. I'm going to use my... I trade in a lot of my, my seals for, um, for, um, for, um, for free teleports. It saves a lot of money, especially when you're doing hunts. Alright, so it seems quite a lot, like 3,000. But an S rank, I believe, gives you 100. Also, if you do... It might be more. I'm assuming it's 100. If you also do the weekly um, um, hunt that you get from the, the hunt board is just outside the pub as well. And also this works for in, in like uh, Ralga's Reach as well, I think. No, not Ralga's Reach. Or is it? Got me thinking now. Oh dear. Um... Anyway, so we're going to go over here. This is then where you're going to trade it in. So, the Center for Cultural Promotion. And you want to head to the person on the far right. Primal Gear Exchange. And then Uncanny Knickknacks. And then, as you can see, scroll down. And you've got the Wyvern Horns. You can see it requires six logs. And you trade that in. And then you can get the mount. Which is this one. Now you see these in Heaven's Ward, they're like a mob that you that you get, that you defeat, and that you beat. So it's quite a unique mount. Not many people actually fly around on this, so if you want something that feels unique as well. And it's just something actually it's actually really cool. And sometimes the ones that people overlook, they're the ones actually are the best. So let's go for a proper flight outside. Hopefully it's sunny. If it's sunny here. I can only hope it's sunny in the main area. Shaking my little wife and hips. So, I say it is just to get... I know it still takes a time, but considering the others of... So you've got the, basically like, like the Sin Eater looking mount from Shadowbringers, the Tiger one from 2000 S ranks, and the Triceratops which is 1000 um, S ranks from the Shadowbringer areas, as well as the A ranks, which require both for the Tiger and for the Triceratops. I say this is why this one is the easiest to get, because it doesn't matter where the S ranks are. Well, okay, it kind of does, because you need to, <laughs> you need you need Heaven's Ward and the uh, and the Stormblood ones. Um, and also I do believe as well that A ranks drop them them as well. So if you see a hunt train going in the old areas, you know, feel free to get them. I think Heaven's Ward A ranks people just kill on the spot because if you're a high enough level you can take it down and it's not a problem. Especially if you're level 80, so this is a really fun mount. It doesn't have a pet action or anything, and you know, and color-wise, I guess it's not the most exciting. It's just, you know, these pink wings with a bit of green on them. 
on the body with these tiger stripes, but it does kind of remind me of something I've had to train your dragon, because it's kind of comical looking. Um, but it's just a, it's a fun mount. Not many people have it. So if you're interested in the hunts and you want to get a mount straight away, this is probably the first one you're going to unlock. And the good news is by going for this, you're not actually going to take anything away from your achievement of the tiger or from the... Um, ugh. The Triceratops. The good news is, in fact, while trying to get this one, you'll probably be putting towards your Tiger Mount. So it's like you get a little reward while working toward a bigger goal. So there you go, guys. I hope this vid has helped. I hope you find it interesting. Keep watching because we'll be going more into the future about Achievement Mount and Hidden Gem Mounts that people sometimes overlook but should not because, as I said, they are hidden gems. So thanks again. Till the next time, mount up and ride out.